know of people whose grandparents were slaves and they loved it. I'm sure they did. They loved being forced to work and told when and when they cannot eat. I snuck into a cult. What is a cult? You don't need to answer that question because I already know. I joined one. You saw okay. the title of this video, you're probably like, oh, that's an exaggeration. No. If you've been following my videos for the past month, you know that I've been uploading a series where I went on a van trip with my friends Zara, Aiden, Janice, and Paul. Before I tell you this story, let's get on the where's same the page Where's the dog at? Y'all have the van, but where's the dog? First of all, most cults have- Does this cult eat dogs? That's why you didn't bring it? One leader, a person that all the money gets funneled to, because most of the time when you're starting a cult, it's for the money. A lot of cults also have a doomsday clause to it, which is like, hey, the world's gonna end and you're on the wrong side of it. So that's why a lot of cults end up mass unaliving themselves. You probably yep, have heard yep, of we the saw that. drinking the Kool-Aid story from my other video. Or the children yep. of God or the angels landing, but I'm not sure you've heard of the 12 tribes. Let me start where we started though. I haven't. I have this friend named I who said he had visited a cult before. And I was like, oh, no you haven't. He had. About a year ago, me and my two friends decided to go up to Vermont for a snowboarding trip. And by the time we get there, it's like maybe 11 at night. So we were really hungry. My friend finds this one place. Cap, cause who the fuck is going to Vermont? This, no, 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 no. Who's like, you know what? Let's go do something fun. Let's go to Vermont. So this story is already a lie. Called the Yellow Deli. And they give us like free tea to start. They like, you know, they warm. So like, oh, where'd you come from? Blah, blah, blah. And so at this point, I'm like, hold up. The customer service is great. The food is great. The decor is great. Where's the catch here? While I was going to the bathroom, I saw this restaurant had free calendars. And on the calendar, it said, a new day is coming. Join the revolution. I was like, for a deli? Like, this is a huge operation, bro. <laughs> for a deli? Like, I started asking questions. So we're like, what do you guys do? Like, what is this place? We're called the 12 tribes of Israel. We believe in Yahshua. When we okay. join the community, everyone changes their names. So we all get Hebrew names. I knew this guy was on some shit. So I was like, let's, ask, let's actually get to something interesting. So I was like, what is your stance on vaccines? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, it's an act of Satan. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing this face because of that. I scratched my armpit and then I used the same finger to get orange out of my teeth. And now all I taste is deodorant. It don't taste good. I eat kids same. What the f <laughs> The 12 Tribes was founded by Albert Eugene Spriggs in 1972. Oh, I met him. It originally started because him as well as other hippies were upset that the hippie movement sucked. The 12 Tribes is very secretive. A couple YouTubers have infiltrated it only as of recently, but they hide everything about the 12 Tribes behind the Yellow Deli. Because the Yellow Deli is this phenomenal restaurant, but the 12 Tribes is- If you ask me, I think the 12 Tribes is a terrible ass secret, cause um, cause um, do I do I need to say more? Uh, this seems like a tor terrible secret to me. Is the cult. The Yellow Deli has over 3,000 members worldwide and locations from New York all the way to Japan and Australia. And 50 years later, only really as of recent, the 12 tribes have been making a lot of headlines. Headlines about child abuse. Headlines about hating all gay people. Headlines about uh, them sacrificing 144,000 virgins. Hey yo, chat, <laughs> rip, <laughs> RP to y'all. <laughs> See, this is probably the most normal thing he said, right? It's homophobic, racist, child beating. Yeah, that's very normal. Is it good? Uh-uh, but. That's, that's, that's very, this is like a very normal thing. Sacrificing 144,000 virgins. Wait, I did not hear that correctly. I thought it was just 144. Wait, 144,000? Where the hell did they find that many? What, did they do a, a global survey? What did they sacrifice them to? What? But no way, that couldn't be true. I Max. needed to figure it out. I don't believe it. 144,000 is ridiculous. On our way to upstate New York when we were hunting Bigfoot. And so we stopped by. <laughs> there was a super creepy old lady who spoke like this. We live together and share everything in common. She sounds like an anime character. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't put my finger on it. Oh no. I think she might sound I think she sounds like she's from Ghost Stories. Oh my god, no, she sounds like a character and I can't think of it. The problem is I watch too many anime that I'm getting I get every character mixed up in my head. A few moments later. When he died, I was so sad that I would never hear that voice again. Close enough. And she whispered a little bit more. 
And immediately I was like, yeah, this is probably a cult, but I have no freaking way of knowing that for sure. We took a bunch of their pan flips and materials and we ordered, quite frankly, the most delicious food I've ever tasted in my entire life. I downed that food so fast, I didn't even like consider that it could be poisoned. It wasn't, but I'm saying like I had no cares in the world. Anyways, that night we- Debrief did time. <laughs> what do you guys think of the yellow deli? It was definitely a cult. She seemed nice, but it was also really scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all should have brought some blacks with y'all to see if they really about that racism life. Cause you know, you know, y'all, y'all did, y'all, y'all brought some Asians, so you know, you could have got that side of the racism. But maybe that's not where their hate lies to. You know, I saw racist in the headlines, so y'all should, y'all definitely should have, should have like had a black person be the dog, <laughs> have the black person be y'all Scooby. <laughs> And then as we were about to leave New York, we stopped by another Yellow Deli location. They're everywhere. The big secret they're hiding is like what goes on intricately like with the communities. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow, going to this other Yellow Deli might be our best chance at getting a sit down interview with them. At the second location, we had a plan. We cut open a bee pillow pet and turned it into a makeshift spy camera. Uh. Scalpel. <laughs> that gotta be illegal. <laughs> I'll be uh, the 12 tribes and you be you. Welcome to the 12 tribes. This is a really cute pillow pad. That got me illegal! Yeah, I think it'll work. Hey, everyone check y'all pillow pads right now. I, I know I got a couple of pillow pads I need to check. <laughs> I think it will work. <laughs> this obviously didn't work, but we tried it anyways. <laughs> Right before we headed in, a Yellow Deli employee started banging on our van window. Uh, you ever been in the Yellow Deli? I have no, not. No. Oh, you gotta come and see our artwork. Yeah. We were just about to try to find somewhere to eat. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Wow, you're in the right place. Come up and see us. That was terrifying, but despite that, we headed in. That's some Resident Evil type ish, bro. What the world? Hey, I don't like how there's only one cock in the group, but y'all all still going on with this nonsense. This, this, this is a Caucasian sport that they're playing right now. I think I only saw one cock. What's going on? Not cock, that's a cock. Where's the other guy? I can't, I, I don't know if he's cock or not. Good food. But we got invited to come back. Okay, he is cock. Okay, so it's 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 uh, it's a fifty fifty. Is it? This is a cock Asian uh, operation. This is a Caucasian operation. Oh my god! That was fire. That was fire. This is a Caucasian operation. Okay, y'all know what you know. What this is? This is cold. Okay, I see what y'all did here. <laughs> So yeah, they invited us back for dinner that night, alone, privately, and we didn't have like any spy equipment, so I rush ordered a little spy camera, like a pen that I put in my little pocket. It was really shitty. So we're stopping at this library to uh, figure out what our actual plan is for tonight because we can't just go in and not have a plan to, you know, get the content. Okay, I have a plan to, you know, get the content. He's not cock. He looked like he he definitely mixed with some. That's 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 not cock right there. But I'm more concerned. I'm more concerned why he has multiple he multiple jackets on. This man has a jacket a hood a jacket over a hoodie. Okay, I, th Give it to me. I think it's recording right now. Test it and say something. Hey, so I beat my children every day of my life, and I'm virgin. The plan was perfect. Right. Hey, Anthony, explain what's going on. All right, so we're about to go into the Yellow Deli. Uh, they invited us for dinner, but they have no idea that we're going to be secretly recording. I'm a bit nervous. I'm, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think it's just going to be fun. They're so nice. What's going to happen? Zara is getting converted. <laughs> One, two, two, three. three. Question cream. cream. Okay. I could never I, mean, I could never be in this type of friend group, bro. There's there's too much delusion and not enough common sense. I could never be in this friend group. They're here right now. Oh, uh, three. Three. Yeah, that's it. The small talk only lasted about five minutes, and then immediately we were talking about Bible verses. In John chapter 10, verse 16, that really compares people to sheep a lot. To bring judgment to our thoughts and our desires and our motivations. I used to sleep with sheep. Be what we think They're so soft. Normal human. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's pretty deep. See, now this is usually the part where I'd make fun of Janice for saying that's pretty deep after that guy just went on a 15 minute tangent about Judgment Day. But uh, I honestly can't think of a better response. So good job, Janice. We're eternal beings, like even the evil one is. Everyone, no matter who they are, they're going to be given a new body, an eternal body. Okay. Like man was meant to have in the beginning. 
That was like a line of dialogue straight out of a video game. Y'all should ask them, so how do y'all feel about black people? That should have been y'all should that should have been one of y'all questions. How do y'all feel about homosexuals? And then they feel like they're like, you know what? They're not too bad. Okay, but what about the transgenders? <laughs> See if y'all can catch them slipping. But they did make a promise to us. If we ever went to another Yellow Deli location, they would let us stay the night. If you ever want to do work to stay on the farm, we got lots of farms. One week later, right before we stayed at the most- Two things, why are your feet censored? Second thing, they just offered y'all to be on a plantation. They didn't say stay the night. They said they about to enslave y'all. I'm gonna heed my most warning. haunted house in America, we got the green light. We called them ahead of time and told them we were travelers looking for a place to stay and we wanted to do work to stay. And- <laughs> Yeah, sure, we'd love to if you guys still have the accommodations. Hell no, bro. They literally just said to y'all face, we can't enslave y'all if y'all are on your phone too much. Y'all are still going to go. This is the biggest yellow deli. It, it, so that's like their like hive HQ. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, I'm also, nervous also I'm like, oh man, we gotta work the entire day. Yeah, we also just do labor, you know? Yeah. And after we got our new arsenal of spy gear, we were ready to go. One of us can keep this, and if anyone sees like the perfect place to put it, just... <laughs> okay, well, it's kind of... <laughs> Two, three, question crew! Immediately they split all four of us off, except for Zara and Janice, who would refuse to leave each other's side, and I just started- They split y'all up? In Scooby-Doo, y'all choose to split up. You don't have something else split you up. No, yeah, uh, one of these days it's gonna be raps. I'm, I'm glad at least the girls had enough common sense to stay together, but- Talking to people. They chose to be in this situation, so there's still not enough common sense there. Throughout the workday, I didn't find that crazy conversation I was looking for, just more of the same. People talking about how vaccines were the work of the devil, uh, but to be honest, I could probably find somebody saying that at like Cracker Barrel, so it wasn't that crazy. There was over 60 people that worked at this freaking restaurant. What the hell are you doing there? Uh, y'all are out of place. She might be Indian, I don't have enough facial detail, but you're out of place. What are you doing there? So I just kept making my way around and asking people questions. Most of my day was uneventful. I just ended up literally working. But it's okay, because everybody else ended up working too. So our plan was to work at the Yellow Deli during the day, and then at night, we were gonna get invited to their community home. It's a big house where literally all of them live. They share everything, and that includes their money. Life, Nobody gets money here. It's their all life is literally a video the game. Commonwealth. The whole Commonwealth thing is actually complete bullshit. You're not making anything. You don't make any money, but you can't take out anything either. And when you join the communism, cult, they really try to make this like sense of one identity because you lose your name, you lose all your clothes, you lose all your assets. Before we went back to the community home, we were invited to a little meeting. At the meeting, you got to voice your own religious beliefs and personal life philosophy. At least they didn't have to give up their butts. At least we don't know that yet. <laughs> So I knew this was a great opportunity to try to get them to say some absolutely heinous shit. And holy shit did I. We don't, we don't believe in slavery, but... That's not a... <laughs> but what? Good sentence to say but after. We know of people whose grandparents were slaves and for generations, and they loved it. I'm sure they did. They love being forced to work and told when and when they cannot eat and when and when they cannot t drink water. Yep. The anger that surrounded the Black Lives Matter movement was uh, powerful. There was a powerful force of prejudice in Germany in the 1920s and th 30s directed towards the Jewish people. And a politician picked up on it and took it somewhere and it became an international tragedy. Does he think BLM was about to start a, a Caucasian Holocaust? A Holocaust towards the Cox? Is that, is that what I'm hearing? Do you think black people was about to just start, just start? <gasps> Hold on. Okay. <laughs> All right. And we stand by our way, uh, our life of love and care for others. He just compared BLM to Nazi Germany. <laughs> That's what <laughs> that is <gasps> preposterous. But it's okay because they stand by their life of love and care for others. But let's be real, this isn't too far off of like what you'd hear at like a Trump rally. So I wanted more. 
and oh boy would I get it. I wouldn't, no, I never went to a Trump rally. Oh, people really thought uh, BLM was about to start the Holocaust, man. <laughs> Yo, people brains are interesting. Bro, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> That was the longest day I've had in my entire life. That's what I'm saying. Man, I'm so tired. <laughs> Just asking, so when would you guys join? <laughs> What's the fuck today, man? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so we had two options at this point. Did we cut our losses and go home because this is terrifying, or did we go to the community home? What do y'all think happened? They went to the community home. Community home. Like, we, we, knew, we know what you're going to do. I didn't hear enough about how much they dislike uh, uh, black people and uh, gay people. I didn't hear enough of that. Y'all not y'all are not extracting enough information out of them for my liking or you're keeping too much to yourselves of course we went to the community home at 7 p.m and 7 a.m every single day they have a gathering where they praise yashua yashua is their jesus uh, in fact it is just jesus but spelled differently it's the dinner board. nope that was the cult meeting board and this was the most insane shit I've ever seen. No different from the Pledge of Allegiance, if you ask me. And listen, I'm not one- I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. When did y'all stop doing the pledge? I stopped doing it middle school. The Pledge of Allegiance <laughs> is so wild to me. To knock any crazy activities, you know, I, I grew up in the Catholic Church. We used to sing lots of weird songs and I used to have to kneel and pray. But singing and dancing in a circle with a headband down, talking about how uh, the end days are coming is pretty scary. You know, back in, back in my day in church, they, they just, oh, it was a bunch of stomping in my day. That, that's how my church went. Everybody, everybody, everybody singing, stomping. I did see a mom and her son walk out and as I was passing to go to the bathroom, Like as we were walking down, there was a kid crying, mm -hmm. and like I was hearing like whipping noises. No way. I was on the lookout during the gathering about like how many parents were like bringing their kids Get outside, out, yeah, yeah. and it happened like ten yeah, times. And there were kids screaming, like hollering in the hallway. Like I kept hearing that. Look at how happy all of them are. He, she's sm bright smile, bright smile, bright smile. She's concerned, but <laughs> these I three are giddy. Get this on video proof, so I'm just gonna say all of this is alleged and if. If I get sued, uh, this is all a joke and I faked everything. But in addition to that, I got the final piece of evidence that I've been wanting this whole time. We got a late night car ride from this dude in a white van, which sounds suspicious. This, and it is. We're joining a cult, what do you expect? And even though he wasn't supposed to- I expect common sense out of y'all, bud. That's my fault. Field the 12 tribes' biggest secret. It's hidden from most. We're looking forward to bringing about an age of peace where the earth is totally made new and Yahshua is going to come back. He's going to rule the earth. Okay. Do you know that will be? Yes. Amazingly enough, like 48 years until the end. Yeah. Until <laughs> until the last trumpet. When Yeshua arrives, and what does that mean for us? Well, for the 12 tribes, we're being prepared as a bride for him. That's the politically correct way of saying you're going to unalive yourself. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That night, we went to bed. I didn't hear enough hate. I didn't hear enough about sacrificing virgins to, pre to plead my uh, interests. You know what I'm saying? I slept on the most uncomfortable bunk bed I've ever slept on in my entire life, and I've never been so afraid of being murdered in my sleep, but at least Aiden would also probably be murdered at the same time, so that was comforting, I guess. We woke up, and then we praised Yahshua again, and then we left because I was being terrified. I put my key in the ignition for the van and- Zara's taking a shit. She has to take a faster shit. Tell her she can shit in the van. I want you out of here. Get in the car! God, I want to get out of here! I like them. No, you don't. I they're do they're going to kill themselves in 48 okay. years. But yeah, I still get calls from them like once a month and they think I'm just some random guy. But no, I went in there with a bunch of spy gear and lavalier microphones, so. Sorry guys, if you're watching this. But um, yeah. I was a little unsure. If they, luckily, they don't use the internet because if they did, he would be catching a mean uh, trespassing, a trespassing lawsuit. They're legitimately a cult. But they're they a cult. Were so nice. It doesn't they matter. If they're nice. So nice. Sir, why are you being brainwashed? You're literally being. You're being brainwashed. You're what being are you brainwashed. Saying? 
I, I see why they do these type of missions because they're just not okay up here. They compared BLM to the Holocaust. They said a lot of slaves like being slaves. I would want to leave the moment I hear that. Well, of course I would have. Why do you not want to leave? Stop the f out of it. Stop out of it. You're wake falling up, for it. Wake up. You're falling for it. Stop out of it. Holy shit. Oh my god, they gave me a note! I know! They gave a fucking note! I can write a note! Oh my god, they gave us a welcome card! Yeah, they gave us a welcome card! Welcome to the community in Plymouth. We are so glad to get to know you. Let us know if you need anything. Enjoy your time here, smiley face. All your new friends in Plymouth. Yes! Yeah, we did. Okay! Yeah, we got this one. I almost didn't upload this video because it felt like bullying almost, but I have to keep reminding myself that the 12 tribes and what they're doing is like not okay. It's no issue with the individual because at the end of the day, most of them are just byproducts of their environment. Uh -huh. But the community itself, the bigotry they hold, the fear mongering, and just the general doomsday that they're building. To Why are your feet censored, bro? <laughs> like, that's what I want to know. Towards is not good. <laughs> And it's a problem with the whole. I'm on right? the them later. Breeding children in the masses. Each girl in the community has like seven children, and those kids. That's all they know is this community. And once you're in a cult, especially born into it, it's like impossible to leave. And so seven kids. I'll be damned if I gave birth on my butthole to seven kids. I'll let you know that much.